Welcome to this video. Folks, this is a big moment for us. SAP has released a free version of ABBA platform 1909. So the ABBA platform 1909 trial. So, and this is uh, possible and available as a Docker image on the Docker container. And SAP provides not only the installation files, but also the entire already working environment available for you out of the box. And here right now we can see the installation. Um, and for example, I have logged in right now. You can, yeah, start uh, start the object navigator start the start the uh, se38 the abap editor start the se37 the function builder and so on you can develop and yeah basically the abap platform trial contains the abap application server running on top of the sap hana 2.0 database and sap cloud connector so therefore you can try out uh, installing and and working with cds views with with restful rp with the cloud connector as mentioned and so on and yeah this is a big moment especially for me because they have a lot of functionalities and in this video i would like to show you how you can easily install the ABA platform trial 1909 on your own and just have to keep in mind to fulfill the uh, prerequisites especially for disk space and so on but i will explain you all the details within this video yeah and basically enjoy this video and directly let's get started so here right now we can see the docker image so that we're going to use within the docker container in order to install our aba platform trial version so in order uh, to follow the guidelines first of all you have to keep in mind that uh, based on different operating systems you can use the docker image and you have to keep in mind to uh, yeah that your local computer has this requirement so at least you have four cpus you have 16 gigabits of uh, yeah of space for your ram and 170 gigabyte of disk space for the docker desktop itself so keep this in mind as mentioned within here uh, from from SAP from Docker itself, it's recommended that you have uh, 32 RAM um, in space. But um, if you have at least 16 gigabit, it is also sufficient in order yet yeah, to run the system and to get it run. But if you would like to to have it smoothly, then you should have at least 32 bit gigabit. So um, here right now we, we can see all the guidelines, all the steps we're going to do. But first of all, you need to have an account of Docker in order to install the ABAP trial system. So you can click on here, sign up for free, and then you can type in your email. You can choose what username that you want. You can enter a password and then you can sign up for free. Um, you have to confirm your email address. You will get an email uh, to your email address that you can click on the confirmation link. And then basically you have created a Docker account. So I have already created an account. So basically what we first have to do is that you click on sign in. And within here, you can yeah, basically uh, type in your username or your email address. So, and in my case, it's this username. I click on continue. Then within here, you can type in your password. So, great. And the first step that you have to do is that you download desktop application for Docker. So there we're going to the start image and here you can download the desktop application. So therefore you click on download for Windows because I'm using the Windows operating system. Then yeah, based on your internet connection, this takes some time. Okay, great. So now we can see that the download has been finished. So we click on the executable file. So, and then basically, yeah, the installation wizard will open up. Um, here we're using the WSL2 instead of Hyper-V as uh, recommended. That's totally fine. And I would like to add a shortcut to the desktop for the 
Docker desktop. Then you click on OK. And then yeah, basically all the files will be unpacked. Okay, great. So after all the files have been unpacked, here you have to restart your computer in order to yeah basically uh, complete the installation. So to this we click on close and restart. Okay, and after restarting, basically the Docker subscription service agreement will show up. Yeah, and <laughs> of course you will view the uh, full terms in detail. But basically what you have to do here is you have to accept the subscription service agreement. So that is what we're going to do. Yeah, and basically um, if you have accepted the agreements, then basically you will get a pop-up, a message that your WSL kernel version is too low. And basically this is really great because within here we are getting also the resolution. So we will here yeah, put this command in the shell later on to update the WSL kernel version. So within here you have to click on quit. So and then you open up the shell. So therefore we open the shell. So simply type in CMD in the Windows search or command prompt. And then basically, yeah, the command prompt will open up. And within here, as mentioned, we type in the command WSL minus minus update, hit the enter key. Yeah, and basically now uh, the WSL kernel version is being updated. Okay, great. So this is what we had to do so then we close the cmd right now and then basically here yeah, within the des docker desktop there you sign in with your created account or if you have already then you just uh, you can use them of course there so we click on sign in so and then yeah basically the docker engine is started Okay, great. And once you see this uh, screen, this um, yeah, basically this window, then basically yeah, your Docker container is running successfully. By the way, if you have any questions right now within here, put them in the comment section. Please uh, make sure that you've installed the Docker desktop as an administrator. Uh, also make sure that you're running uh, the right container, maybe a search if you're running the Linux container and maybe you have to switch to Windows container. But basically, if you have any questions, put them in the comment sections. I'm happy to answer them. Yeah, and basically right now we are going to uh, download the Docker image. And to do this, first of all, you have to open up the, yeah, basically the, the Windows command prompt once again. So yeah, basically simply um, put uh, or type in CMD in a Windows search or command prompt to open up the Windows command prompt. Yeah, and basically what we're now going to do is that we are pulling or downloading the Docker image. And this maybe takes some time depending on the internet connection, but to do this, first of all, we open up once again um, the, yeah, basically the, the, the page of the Docker Hub. And here basically is the docker pull command, so we can simply here uh, copy it. And then we're going once again back to our command and we paste it in. And then basically here you have to keep in mind that we would like to download um, the 1909 version. So I add this uh, command at the end. So basically here, and that's basically all. Then you hit the enter key. And now, as mentioned, you're downloading a lot of stuff. Right now, you can see that you're downloading approximately 21 uh, yeah, uh, gigabytes. So keep in mind that yeah, this maybe takes some time. And here right now, I will pause the video and continue once the download is ready and is done. Okay, great. Here are we once again. So basically, yeah, for me, it took only, I think, two hours to download the Docker image. And basically, yeah, it was uh, unpacked. If you had any issues there, 
for some reasons uh, maybe the the download is stopped then you should retry it keep in mind that you need enough space for the download but if you have any questions right now put them in the comment section and basically you have downloaded the image successfully right now and what we have to do is we would like to start our our platform trial instance our uh, image and for doing this here right now we can we can see in the explanation article uh, to run our uh, host basically yeah you can decide between two different uh, commands basically right now i'm using windows and to do this i uh, should use this command so basically yeah i copy this if you are running on linux then you should uh, use this command but as mentioned i'm using windows so i'm using this command and then basically uh, you move over to the shell and then you paste it in and then basically what you, we are going to do we would like to start our host with vhcala 4 hci so then we um, yeah we hit the enter key and then basically yeah this this uh, here basically you have to um, yeah to to accept the the license and to do this basically yeah you could just type in accept and then hit the enter key once again and then this basically takes some time because now yeah basically the the sap instance is started okay great well done have fun all services have been started um yeah uh, congratulations and uh, now the sap system is running successfully and when we open up the uh, yeah, the, the docker desktop then right now here we can see basically that the uh, instance is currently running so yeah congratulations and um, if you have any questions right now put them in the comment section and what we now have to do is is that we have to um, yeah to change our hosts file and to do this therefore we have to go um, yeah basically to um, to um, to the file um, slash uh, c windows system 32 drivers etc and there is the hosts file and yeah probably uh, in my case um, you have to open up the hosts file as an administrator and currently i am yeah i'm using um, uh, the, the notepad plus plus to to change the host file and right now here we have to add this statement so this command if you have any um any uh, lines with this hashtag then basically this is a command and right now we have to yeah, to um, make our sap instance available in the network so the local host so 127.0.0.1 and then once again vhcala 4 HCI. So that is what you have to do. So change it in administrator, then save it. And basically, yeah, you have successfully um, marked your SAP instance in the network. Um, you have started your uh, Docker image successfully and great. And now we would like to, to continue with the setup, to continue with the login. So here right now we are at developers.sap.com slash trials minus downloads. I will put the, the link in the video description and basically within here we can download the current version of the SAP logon of the SAP GUI in order to log into your SAP platform trial instance server and in order to use it. And if you are here, you can scroll at almost to the end so here right now to the section ava platform 1909 developer edition on sap hana 2.0 and within here we need the sap gui for windows version so you can simply click on this link then basically here here um, you have to um, put in your uh, your credentials so if you have already an sap account then you can click on the login if you don't have any then you can basically fill in those information and click on submit um, and then you can basically log or download the sap logon file and then it's really straightforward 
follow the uh, the, the instructions of the installation wizard. I have already installed the SAP logon because of that I don't need those steps. So and to continue first of all I would like to start the SAP logon um, and therefore you have to, uh, yeah, to, to click on this new uh, connection and therefore you just simply click on next and then you click on custom application server and within here basically yeah you can um, type in a description what you like to in my case I'm just using demo uh, ABAP instance and to, to know that this is the, the, the trial version I am adding also VHCALA for HCI and that is what we need down here with the application server you pasted it once again in the instance number you're using 00 system ID is a 4h and you can leave the sub router string blank then you just click on finish and then right now here we can see our isn't instance so we double click on this yeah, basically now you have successfully tried the connection within here, within the uh, logging. Therefore, we just would like to log in with one SAP user. So with the developer, for example, then uh, the password I am typing in, in here in the command field, it's HTODS7. 0334 so this is our password we paste it in the password and yeah now um, basically you can you can ignore this because I've um, typed in the password in the command field but basically yeah you have logged in successfully in the SAP server so you can start the SAP easy access if you like to um, if you if you would like to know you can move around you can you can see what kind of um, of authorizations this user has um, yeah all the all the files all the programs are compiled compiled in background so you can do a lot of stuff within here um, what you like to if you are done and if you would like to yeah, basically uh, to to stop the SAP instance basically you within a docker um, desktop you can click on this stop icon then basically in background the, the SAP instance is stopped and if you would like to start it once again then you can also click on the start on this play icon and then you can start your instance once again yeah, but basically, congratulations for setting up successfully the ABAP uh, platform trial 1909 version. Um, yeah, if you have any questions during installation, I think it was kind of like smooth, easy to understand compared to other um, trial version. Um, yeah, um, enjoy working with ABAP trial platform. And uh, please like this video, please. If you have any questions, any comments, put them in the comments section and please subscribe this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos um, yeah there will be great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video